Broca's aphasia is a non-fluent, effortful, and agrammatic type of language production that is generally meaningful. It results from damage to Broca's area located in the left inferior lateral frontal lobe. Hey Mary Kay, what did you do this weekend? Went party sister house. Oh, who was the party for? Nephew five. Aw, your nephew turned five? Aw, he was getting so big. You have to bring a picture next time I see you. So what else happened at the party? Balloons, kids, lots, running, cake. I love cake. Gotta have that cake. Well, that was good. I'm glad you had a good time. Hopefully next time I can make it. I'll see you later. Individuals with Broca's aphasia understand language spoken to them, but have difficulty finding the words they want to say. The speech is filled with many pauses, typically limited to nouns and verbs, is spoken at a slow rate with uneven flow, resulting in limited word output and reduced length of utterances. Wernicke's aphasia is fluent, sometimes excessive, verbal expression filled with language errors often making the speech unintelligible. This is combined with significant auditory comprehension deficit. It results from damage to Wernicke's area located in the left posterior superior temporal lobe. Hi, Mary Kay. I went to the Catabot, and then I saw the Glebobot, and the cat, and the dog, and the gizmo. I don't understand. What did you do? I went to the Catabot, and I saw the Glebobot, and the cat, and the dog, and it's just so cute. Ah! Hmm. Uh, Nicole, I heard your mom was sick. How is she feeling? Well, the Catabot, you know, it just... It was there and with the Glebobot, and they were all just hanging out. Individuals with Wernicke's aphasia may have difficulty understanding language spoken to them or may not understand when topics in conversation change. Their speech is spoken at a normal rate with good articulation and proper grammar, but filled with nonsense words, making the conversation difficult to follow. Individuals with Broca's aphasia are often depressed due to the awareness of their communication difficulties, whereas individuals with Wernicke's aphasia lack insight into their disability and therefore lack frustration regarding their failed communication. Speech language therapy has proven effective at treating these individuals. Contact your local speech language pathologist for more information.